if I'm live. I think I'm live. Tell me if you can see me. I'm just going to adjust my screen a second. I seem to be quite close, quite zoomed in. Keeps jumping around. Okay, um, while well, since I've done a live video, um, I wanted to jump on here today um, because, well, A, because I haven't done this for a while and I kind of wanted to get my mojo back on and maybe start doing a few more lives again. Um, but um, a few days ago, I dropped a post about how I was um, experiencing this kind of low mood as kind of my baseline mood you know I was waking up I wasn't feeling excited about life um I just and, and this has been since 2020 and I know a lot of you resonate with um that general feeling because we've opened our eyes to so much real real evil in this world um and yeah you know it really really throws you sideways doesn't it um and I think also my perimenopause started around that time as well. So it was a real double whammy for me. Um, and, you know, I did happen to mention in that post that um, uh, I'd also balanced my hormones um, uh, with regards to perimenopause. But what I want to start with talking about today is estrogen dominance. And uh, don't kind of you know, oh, that sounds a bit boring. It's just so important uh, that you get your head around this um, because it makes such a massive difference to um, everything. And this applies to you boys as well. This is really important because estrogen dominance affects you as well. And you might not think, well, that's a girl's hormone. Well, no, you have it in your bodies as well. But the problem is we have been surrounded by um, lots of uh, xenoestrogens is what they're, they're called um, and it's in plastics so any time you eat something plastic especially if you're cooking in like those plastic trays or something I always tip it out into Pyrex or something um, you know this stuff is leaching into your food it's in the water supply um, estrogens are in the water supply from contraception pills from where it's cycled you know, <laughs> through the system, and then it comes back out through our water. Now, obviously, a good uh, water filter or distilling your water is going to help um, knock that one on the head. But it's also in um, triclosan, um, which is uh, found in some deodorants, some toothpaste. I've just made a few notes here so I don't forget. Antibacterial, funny that, uh, products. Uh, and also, um, these estrogens are in... Um, Phthalate, <laughs> Phthalate, P H T H A L A T E, and uh, these are found in beauty products. You know, sort of the the dirty beauty products, if you like. Um, they're found in scented candles, air fresheners, um, plastic wrap again, body lotions. You know, all that kind of thing. Um, if you're not buying consciously or or realizing consciously what's in your products, um, you know, you really want to be avoiding these things in particular. Um, also, gluten is a hormone disruptor. Did you know that? Gluten can also disrupt your um, estrogen, progesterone balances, testosterone. Um, now, why do we need to be concerned about this? Well, okay, so let's go back. So if you're a man, it can give you moobs. You can get man boobs. Um, and let's face it, you don't really want that, do you guys? You know, um, and there is obviously the theory that this has been done deliberately to feminize men. Um, I won't go too deeply into that, but I think you know what I'm saying. Um, but it also gives uh, for men and women, you get belly flat. Um, it gives you mood swings, irritability, low libido and depression. And hi, Carice. Lovely to see you. Yes, that's why I use water filters, too. Um, uh, you can also be very, it can make you very angry and frustrated. This is why during the perimenopause or PMT, you know, we get this fluctuation in estrogen and we get angry and frustrated. And, you know, I remember growing up, sorry, mum, but I didn't know what I was going to come home to when my mum was going through the change. Um, you know, one day should be fine. The next day it'd be... <laughs> And uh, I didn't know what I was going to walk in the door to. And I, I swore to myself blind, I was not going to be like that for my children. And, you know, this is why it was really important to me to find a way to balance those hormones. Um, but, you know, it also um, affects your liver function. 
negatively it actually really impacts on your liver function uh, excess estrogen and your liver struggles to detox it on its own um it also suppresses the thyroid hormones which keep your thyroid in balance and this is why um, people can gain weight because of estrogen dominance because the thyroid isn't working properly um, so the excess estrogen um, creates thyroid binding globulin and decreasing your thyroid hormone um, and obviously when your thyroid is out of whack you feel a lot of fatigue you feel tired you get brain fog Right. So you can see now why um, estrogen dominance is a real pain in the backside and we've really got to get on top of it. Now, um, as always, <laughs> I wouldn't come on here and not have a, a solution for you. Um, I've been reading up on this a lot. I, I mean, there's so much I can say about the whole hormone situation, but I just wanted to touch on this one in particular um, because it affects so many people. And there is... Um, a supplement that you can take it's probably going to be back to front isn't it? oh no no there you go cell active dim i don't know if you can see that okay this is the one i use and you can see underneath it says with calcium d glucurate so this um is basically that it's like um it's from broccoli believe it or not the dim side of it and the dim stands for uh hang on i've got it dindolim lil methane Anyway, what it does basically, it balances your estrogen and it detoxes the excess estrogen that you don't need, especially those xenoestrogens that I was talking about earlier, gets them out of your system. It assists the liver in getting those clear and then thus balancing your estrogen to normal levels because um, estrogen we have all these hormone receptors for all our different hormones all over the body and estrogen will fill them and it will fill them instead of testosterone. It will fill them instead of progesterone. Right. So you can see how you get this massive imbalance. Um, and basically, by taking this, it will reduce menopause symptoms. It will reduce PMT symptoms. But more importantly, it's supporting your body in that detox. And I, I actually think that quite genuinely, um, I've bought quite a few of these. And I actually think quite genuinely, this is an essential supplement these days. Absolutely essential. Um, simply because, um, you know, this was never a problem um, historically. All these um, xenoestrogens, you know, they're in the air, they're in the water, they're in your food. Um, obviously, those of us who eat a little bit more consciously, um, you know, it's not going to impact on us quite so badly. Um, but I highly recommend this. Um, I've actually put, this is from Cytoplan. Um, it's the only one that has it with calcium deglucrate, and they are both, both brilliant at detoxing um, estrogen. Um, so that's why it's the one I recommend. It's the one I use. Um, and I'm actually a practitioner with um, Cytoplan. So I'm able to give you a 35% discount. There's a code. I've popped it in the um, right up above this video. So you can grab that code. They've also got on at the moment a three for two offer. So you can add three of these to your cart and they'll they'll refund you know you, you'll only pay for two and you'll get the 35 percent as well so i think it's a really good time to to buy this um but i highly recommend you get um 60 in a bottle so that's two months worth um right there it's one a day um yeah so i really highly recommend that it's just such a simple way obviously trying to avoid um the, the xenoestrogens but this actually gives you a way to get them out of your bloodstream by the way if you're on here say hi because i can't see how many viewers i've got <laughs> so it'd be nice to see who's on and uh, you know to chat okay so guys you can leave the conversation now um you know this is the one you really need to know about i'm now going to talk a little bit more about um perimenopause but hang around if you've got a partner who's kind of you know i'm turning 50 this year who's around this kind of age who um might benefit from this information then feel free to hang around It'd be lovely to have you um right so perimenopause um uh, like I said at the beginning, I started having symptoms, I think around 2020. So, you know, amazing timing. Um, and I just had what I can recall was just massive, massive brain fog. This was my main symptom. And I would be out of commission for a week at a time. And it completely cocked up because I was doing really well with online work. Um, it, it threw me off for a whole week. 
I wouldn't be able to do a live for sure. Um, I couldn't even think straight. I couldn't even think about how to do a dinner. You know, this was how bad the brain fog was. So, um, hi, Corey. Oh, you're going through perimenopause. Oh, crikey, at 32. Do you know what, though? You might find that this might actually reverse it. Um, if you've been impacted by these estrogens and what have you, um, this might help you. Um, so give it a go. Um, I certainly would. Um, and the other thing, um, obviously, you've got estrogen and progesterone, right? The two work together. Um, Agnes Castus um, actually helps boost your progesterone levels. And progesterone makes you feel calm and kind of, you know, it keeps the estrogen under control. The estrogen is the one that kind of makes you angry and, rawr, um, you know, so it might be worth, um, I would, I, the, the two things I take are that and the Agnes Castus. And I swear by the fact that that has just made everything just normal. You know, I get the odd day of brain fog, but I can cope with it for a day. Um, so yeah, so other things I've done though, because this isn't just the one thing. Um, I changed my diet. Um, and obviously, you know, we know about cutting out processed foods and that sort of thing. Um, but I started following um, the GAPS diet with Emma Goodwin. Um, hi, Emma, <laughs> if you're watching. Um, and, you know, with this, um, it's because we need cholesterol for our hormone production. Right. So all this low fat, low cholesterol bollocks, basically, um, is is a complete fallacy. We need it desperately for our brain cells. We need it for our hormone, for protect, you know, proper hormone function. And the best source of uh, cholesterol is animal products. So, you know, I've actually taken it upon myself. I started having bone broths, um, you know, meat stocks. Um, actually, I haven't been doing that so much in the summer, but what I've been doing instead is taking a collagen supplement, and also I use gelatin as well. And I just chuck a bit of gelatin if I'm doing a mince or a sauce or whatever. It doesn't, it only goes um, like jelly if it goes cold. So uh, if it's in a hot meal, it's absolutely fine. Um, but I buy a collagen supplement, which I have in, um, I don't drink coffee, but you can have it in your coffee. Um, I actually have a chocolate tea, <laughs> which I have it in. And along with MCT oil, which is coconut MCTs um, that I just chuck in about a tablespoon and, and then you waz it up with one of those little wazzers and it gives you a lovely frothy drink. It's really good. I really enjoy it. Um, so there's that. So you, you have the uh, gelatin collagen um, in the bone broths and that, and that's what heals your gut or what helps heal your gut. And then you can eat the meat products, you can eat the fats. Um, I still eat veg. I'm not a carnivore. I'm certainly not vegan. Um, I believe those are two extremes. Um, you know, the fact that this DIM supplement is is made from broccoli, uh, it's a broccoli extract, actually proves that we do need that balance. Personally, that's my belief um, in our diets. Um, but it is good to build in that awareness around plant toxins, um, particularly ones that wreck your gut, like gluten. Again, this is why I only eat sourdough. That, that's not a gaps thing, by the way. Um, sourdough is just something I've never really suffered from gluten so I, I have my sourdough and I enjoy that with a nice you have a big wedge of butter on the top of it to make it acceptable <laughs> um so you know it is it's, it's going back to whole foods again basically you know um knowing where your meat comes from um organic vegetables because uh, glyphosates are another gut wrecker and then that throws all your hormones out as well. You know, these things are all interconnected. Um, and finally, um, exercise. I want to talk about exercise because as we get older, we should not be doing ridiculously high impact exercise. We should not be going out running every day because that raises our cortisol levels. And cortisol is, of course, another hormone. Now, we need cortisol to wake us up in the morning. So it's always good to get out into your sunshine first thing in the morning. I always sit, sit out. It's beautiful and sunny today. Um, get my feet on the grass and I sit there for as long as I've got. So if it's 10 minutes, I'll sit there for 10 minutes. If I've got half an hour, I'll sit there for half an hour. So I'll get my vitamin D, which is also a hormone, not a vitamin, by the way. Um, and um, it raises your cortisol to wake you up, make you feel alert and alive. Um, but excess cortisol, again, acts a little bit like estrogen in that it can, um, you know, it can really take over the show. Um, and when you are putting a lot of 
a lot of stress on your body by going running a lot um and you know if you're overdoing the high intensity workouts you know doing once or twice a week that's fine um and for short periods that's absolutely no problem and, and your body needs that little shocker as well just to you know get it going so um you know it's something i've got to build in a little bit more but um sort of doing a couple of sprints while i'm out on a walk but i power walk every morning now get up at 5 30 yeah i know <laughs> i think i'm a bit crazy at times as well um generally get up at 5 30 um and sometimes have a lay until six when i'm feeling really decadent um and strength training as we get older strength training is king um, obviously it builds your muscle and when you build your muscle you have more stability make sure you keep up your flexibility as well so doing your yoga type moves as well and, and keeping yourself flexible and when you've got strong muscles you've got better posture you have um, you know better balance so you're less likely to fall and have accidents but also um, the the strength exercising builds your bones as well okay it really impacts on your bones and also collagen and gelatin also help with uh, bones, you know, bone strength, bone repair, obviously, along with um, your calcium and magnesium and all that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, those are the main things I changed. I, I took supplements, uh, this and Agnes Castus, which you can also get from Cytoplan uh, to balance the estrogen, estrogen and progesterone. Um, diet eating whole foods um you know bone broths um that kind of thing uh meats fats you know all good quality animal fats and meats and uh, organic vegetables and um yeah exercise low impact you know get your power walk it's far more enjoyable i mean i've never been a runner i mean i've always said if you see me running you better start running because <laughs> You know, something is obviously after me. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never been a runner, so that's not really been a problem for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, strength training. I tell you what, when you 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 start seeing your body change, you know, it really gives you a boost, and you feel really good about yourself. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to touch on all of those things. So I hope that's been helpful for you, <laughs> and um, I hope some more people do see this um and thanks for sticking with me carice i really appreciate it um but that's really all i have to say on that i'm sure i will start doing more lives and talking about uh more issues that are impacting on us um but yeah get your dim get your cell active dim with calcium deglucurate um dave asprey actually talks about the calcium deglucurate for detoxing um the uh the estrogen as well um but obviously he's more geared towards men although he does both but it's you know but um ladies men get that inside you um and uh, yeah don't forget your discount code 35 percent off um and i'll drop a direct link to this so you can find it in the comments um thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye bye